Hi, I'm Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am just talking about how you can run your home like a hotel. If you were to Google this topic, there are a lot of things about how to sort the mail, how to keep your home decor very simple, keeping things clean and organized. But I wanted to look past that and really talk about what makes staying at home a luxe experience. Idea one is just sort of an at-home mini bar. I can usually talk myself out of a $7 bottle of Fiji water, but at home, I like to stock up on fun drinks, things like kombucha, cold brew coffee, even uh, protein shakes, just things that are fun to drink, things that I may not drink every day. In regards to snacks, I like to keep things around like popcorn, Lara bars, and chocolate covered pretzels. This is definitely something you can tailor to your taste preferences, but it is nice to keep these things on hand. Tip two is to create a local event calendar used to track fairs, festivals, concerts that are coming out. It's a great way to get excited for when you have breaks in your schedule, but do not feel pressure to go to everything or even anything. This is just a way to sort of feel connected to your community. For example, my town has a farmer's market. I like to keep those dates written down. We a lot of times will have food trucks that come into town. I like to, I definitely like to keep track of the food trucks. Also check your local library. Mine has tons of events for toddlers and kids. The nice thing about this is, is that a lot of these events are actually annual. So if you can do the legwork now, this calendar just gets easier to update year over year. A semi homemade breakfast bar. This is probably my favorite idea. If you have like a local specialty grocery store, this is a good place to get just baked goods that things like pre baked quiches, pop tarts, croissants, uh, bagels, and cream cheese. It doesn't have to mean, you know, slaving over a stove making biscuits and gravy, but if you can just lay out a few juices or milk, chocolate milk, if I'm trying to make life extra special for my kids, whichever way you go, this is a huge hit at my house where cereal can sort of reign supreme. Your own personal collection of bath products. I personally, and I know I'm not alone here, love getting the little shampoos and conditioners and soaps. It's usually the first place I check, but you can sort of recreate that at home. Target, Walmart, Amazon, if you just Google, you know, mini shampoos and mini conditioners, there are a ton of options available. And if you can stock these away even better, then you can pull, sort of pull them out on special occasions. I also sort of collect little mini bubble baths, body wash, and deodorant bottles. If you are really into this idea, I would suggest adding bath bombs, sheet masks, <laughs> and Epsom salt. If you have small children, try adding Crayola color droplets. They basically change the color of the water. It's just a way to take ordinary things sort of up a notch. I also like to stockpile Jack Black travel things for my husband. They make great stocking stuffers and I actually like them too, so that's why I like to keep them around. Also, <laughs> another, this is just a tip, but if you are a big fan of subscription boxes, uh, FabFitFun, Petite Vor, those two are my favorites, but they will send you little travel size products and they're it's a great way to sort of like build your collection. So there you have it. Just a few ways to sort of run your home like a hotel. Thank you for coming by. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this video. If you are into cleaning and organizing and home, I don't know what you call this, um, make home special content, uh, please feel free to subscribe. 